この試合は四十二キロ契約三分三ラウンド延長一ラウンドで行われます Referee calling them to the center of the ring. Just as Hiratsuka gets his final drink of water and mouthpiece put in by his corner. Three three minute rounds with the possibility of one extra overtime round should the judges not reach a decision. This our second bout of the evening oh, on Fight TV. You listen to Stuart Fulton and Mark Pickering. Round one is underway. No touch of the gloves. These are two men with strong winning records. They've both been in demand in a number of promotions. Stylistically, though, they're both orthodox fighters. So it may take some early exchanges just for them to both set up their rhythm and to find a way through. Very stationary stance from Hiratsuka and much lighter on his feet, Yama. His nickname, a nod to all the reggae massive out there. For a right cross, Yama pops it in, then pops. A long jab in, goes low now to the calf on the outside of Hiratsuka. Nice stylish offense from Hiratsuka. Very tight peekaboo guard there from Hiratsuka. Much looser. Oh, 3 2, heavy. Unloaded there from Yama. Followed by a heavy low kick again to the calf. Hiratsuka has adopted a very patient style. Yeah, man, looking to get busy, looking to get working immediately. Very quick with his combinations, yeah, man. Halfway through the first round already, and looking the more active of the two. Hiratsuka trying to work from that high kick. That high left kick has landed a couple of times. Misses with that one. Does want to get backed up in the corner there by Yaman. Finds himself in that corner. Left the body open as well, and Yaman duly obliged. Yaman smiling and really enjoying himself there, but he's catching a couple of leather. He's trying to walk through them, but they are landing. So Ishi Hiratsuka keeping that really tight Muay Thai guard. Yeah, very, very tight defensively. Hiratsuka is not giving much away. He's not. He's also not opening up until he's backed up into the corner. I think this is part of his strategy in this one. The opposite to Yaman. Oh, nice knee there. Off the ropes. Hiratsuka. Yaman still staying busy. For a big overhand right. Still smiling as well. There's the bell signifying the end of the first round. Very different stylistically there, Mark, like you said before we started. Yeah, Yaman seems very at ease, very willing to exchange, smiling, lots of emotion, lots of character in his face. Hiratsuka, arguably the opposite. Very methodical to start with, not looking to give too much away, not looking to trade too much. He's just Trying to get a sense, trying to get a feel of Yaman and just trying to work him out so far. There's some of the action from the first round there. Find himself backed off into the ropes. Looking through that peekaboo guard and trying to fire back, but just the knee really going in there. Back in the feet. Ready for the second round. Our second bout of the evening. Round two. round two on the way. I'd expect to see more from Hiratsuka now in the second round, and he knows he needs to up his work rate. Oh, 
Jacka still with that tight guard. He's allowing Yaman to tee off, even though he's catching a lot of them on the guard. He's keeping his hands up, but he's still, as he says, to letting Yaman get those shots away. He's trying to time his counters as Yaman opens up. He's not too phased by the power that he's felt at the hands of Yaman so far. That could be his key to victory here, just watching carefully as Yaman gets a little bit rambunctious and then try to pick him off. Goes high there, really solid high kick. Down low after that, still smiling. Yeah, Yaman, Yaman smiles and walks through it. And the calf kicks now on the outside, Hiradska. Yatska's corner telling him those calf kicks are working. Could snap behind those left high kicks as well when he could land them a bit more flush. Looking for the uppercut there. Yeah, Yaman really mixing it up nicely with his open wide punches and his compact punches into the body now. Those low kicks going in with more frequency now. Yaman yeah, says bring it on. Hiratsuka has got a very tactical approach to this one, but the clock is ticking. Halfway through the fight now. He needs to step it up. Pressing forward, Yaman. Yaman says bring it. I don't think the taunting is going to do much. Taishi Hiratsuka seems to be very, very composed and concentrating on his game plan. Yeah, he's got a razor focus on Yaman. Just waiting to pick him off, looking for his opportunity. Yaman's applying all the pressure. Still pumping in those low kicks. 20 seconds left on the clock in round two. Yaman looking for that big one, one punch knockout. Left and right, slightly wayward from Yaman. He has to be careful he doesn't punch himself out. Again to the body with that lead left hand. Yaman, but the bell signals the end of round two. You can see him leaning down there now. He's feeling tired as a result of all that work in the first two rounds. Now he's where Hiratsuka has to turn it on in round three. He looks a little bit more settled now, I have to say, coming back to his corner here. He's not breathing too heavily. He's still looking focused. He did get caught up in some exchanges in the pocket there, which didn't seem something that he wanted to do, but those low kicks were popping in really nicely. Yeah, if he can just set them up with a combination. You see the knee, you see the one kick, but nothing in succession. Nothing really to trouble Yaman so far. Certainly not, but his kicks look very hard. And if he can catch Yaman with a surprise high kick following those barrage of low kicks, he could send him to the mat. Round three underway. Definitely feels like there's a lot more to come from Iratuka, a lot more in the tank. Hopefully he can unleash that now in the final round. Hiratsuka looking a little bit more urgent now, starting off slow, probably due to his Muay Thai background. Yeah, he needs to go in the attack now. It was all Yaman in rounds one and two. Hiratsuka needs to go to town. Watch those high kicks, like I said. He's throwing throwing them in every opportunity he gets. Yaman yeah, needs to be cautious here, he keeps pressing forward. He so does. He's and gonna give Hiratsuka a target. He's leaving his chin open a little bit when he goes for some of those wide punches and the body, I like his lead body punch and how he follows up with it, but he's leaving some openings for Hiratsuka. Hiratsuka spinning out there into the center of the ring. There's that body punch again from Yaman. Yeah, the wilder of the two for sure is 
Saitama boy representing Target Jim and Shibuya Yama. Back and forward a little bit more. Speed now from both of these gentlemen. Hiratsuka needs to go out all out these last 90 seconds. Oh, nice. Calf kicks to the outside and the inside of the lead left, the post leg of Yaman. Yeah, Good work. Working Yatsuka. over the body there. Yatsuka opening out the jab a little bit more now. Yeah, if he can work from that left jab and then put in the high kick. One minute left in the third round. Still anybody's game. Throwing a high kick of his own, yeah, man. Still very tight guard from Taishi Hiratsuka. The man from Aichi, four years the senior of Yaman. Yeah, 30 seconds and counting. Hiratsuka's got 30 seconds to land something of Nokia on Yaman. Clinch getting broken up. I feel like it's been coming, but credit to Yaman. Yaman is throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Taishi Hiratsuka, and nothing is phasing him. Trying to vary up the offense, high kicks and knees. There's Nothing the bell. Behind it. Both men put their hands up, but it will go to the judges, and let's see if one of these men can edge out a victory or whether they go to a fourth overtime round another three minutes possibly on the clock here's the action from that third round there those low kicks again going in nicely from Hiratsuka yeah did well to maintain his balance there and to get a few punches away in return which way will it go the damage on the left leg of Yaman you can't see it from this camera angle, but it's looking nasty. 29-28 to Hiratsuka. 29-28. Hiratsuka. Again, Hiratsuka is unanimous. Leader. Strikes. Landing. Solid. Stuck to his game plan, didn't let the, the wildness of Yaman take over and get to his head. Stuck yeah. with that tight peekaboo guard and low kick after low kick damage, obviously being the main factor here. A very workmanlike display from Hiratsuka. A very impressive, solid, solid low kicks. Even at this weight, 62 kilograms, nasty, nasty kicks going into the knee area and just below that on the calf, inside and outside. Yaman yeah, had a greater volume of work throughout.